boys from Brazil, big teens Vitor Roque and Indrik come out on top. It was not long until January 2014 that judicial questions began to be asked about the details of Neymar's transfer from Santos to Barcelona. Over time, the buying club would make a huge fortune on the back of his talent and fame, but it was more expensive than Barcelona initially admitted to exporting Neymar from Brazil. A decade after the first investigations into how and to what extent Neymar transitioned to European football, the legacy of that seismic transition is still being felt. Neymar, now 31 and enduring a lengthy recovery from an injury that has hampered the third big move of his career to Al-Hilal in Saudi Arabia has brought a combined fee of more than 400 million euros. This is a total that supports predictions, made during his teenage years, that he would be a pioneer in setting the standards of the game for his generation. There will be varying judgments, from Catalonia, and from Paris where Paris Saint-Germain set a standing record when they triggered Neymar's massive €222 million Euro buyout clause to lure him from Barcelona, about how close Neymar really is to being among the best individuals in his sport. But at 21, as a creative player and fearless dribbler, he was close to the perfect example of what many top European clubs would want in a new signing. He was a young man, heir to the great Brazilian tradition of skill and courage on the ball. It was all the more interesting for being somewhat unknown to the European public. There are hundreds of past stories of would-be geniuses from Brazil failing to live up to expectations once they cross the Atlantic, but the alluring idea of these stars in the making never fades. The 2024 transfer window is only a few days away, and already the standout players are the boys from Brazil. There's Lucas Peraldo, who recently turned 20 and signed for Paris Saint-Germain from Sao Paulo. He is a centre-back, and it is very difficult to sell him as a glamorous acquisition, but at a club whose rise over the past 10 years has seen key roles for Thiago Silva and Marquinhos, the Brazilian centre-backs have a distinctive personality. More hype surrounded Vitor Roque, whose anticipated offer to Barcelona fans was previewed with a raucous mix of self-congratulation by the Bayer club, which has tracked him for years and has now signed him from Atletico Paranense, and the usual concern about him. Whether Barcelona's strained finances allow him to sign up for La Liga remains to be seen. Vitor Roque will only turn 19 in February and has been a promising player for much of his youth, making his debut for Brazil last year, and can easily be envisioned as the refreshing element Barcelona needs, as their La Liga title defense and their president look faltering. Robert Lewandowski sources goals irregularly. Lewandowski is 35 years old, Vitor Roque has long-term dreams. He arrived at Barcelona 10 seasons after Neymar, and 20 after the transformative signing of Ronaldinho. These precedents are putting their own pressure on the boy prodigy from Brazil, as is the regular comparison between Vitor Roque and his compatriot Endrick, the very exciting striker with whom Real Madrid has already concluded an agreement. Indrik, from Palmeiras, will join Madrid in the summer, once he turns 18, in the same way as Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo, two of Madrid's best new players from Brazil, did. Looming on the horizon for Vitor Roque and Endrik is 2024 when their relative talent, effectiveness in a new league and marketability will be measured in the context of the Barcelona-Madrid rivalry. This is the same rivalry, the fierce desire of each club to look like the brilliant talent scouts who made the first big move in Neymar's career. As various legal investigations later discovered, the true costs of Neymar's move in excess of €80 million Euros from Santos to Barcelona were extremely high. What was clear even before the player turned 18 was that all parties with an interest in selling him were in a strong negotiating position. Real Madrid wanted him, so did their main competitors. The auction has been set. Senior executives from both clubs admitted as much in a courtroom in Catalonia years later. We shook hands over the deal on Friday, and then on Monday we were told that Real Madrid had offered more, recalls Raul Sanlahi, then one of Barcelona's senior managers. We were interested, Real Madrid president Florentino Perez said, in the rare cases club was in the market. The fee that Barcelona subsequently received, even if they did not want to sell Neymar to Paris Saint-Germain in 2017, sparked further envy, despite the reckless ease with which Barcelona wasted €222 million Euros in subsequent transfer windows, 
more than half of which went to Philippe Coutinho is a deeply unhappy figure in the Brazilians' history at Camp Nou which makes their Neymar legacy bittersweet. But his long shadow still remains. Vitor Roque will hear Neymar referenced often in his new home. And every energetic young superstar making his first trip from Brazil to Europe knows that he travels with special, high expectations.